In this video, we're diving into Grok 2 and how you can use it in N8N. So if you're not already aware, Grok is Elon Musk's latest AI that's making some pretty big waves in the tech world. So the just released Grok 2, it's already turning some heads with some impressive benchmarks. So from what I found, it's outperforming Claude 3.5 Sonnet and even GPT-4 in its turbo in overall ELO scores. And it's even claimed the top spot in visual math reasoning. But I mean, Grok isn't just about its raw performance. It's actually got some personality that sets it apart that I find it super interesting. Grok's bring an interesting no filter type of approach to these AI conversations, which it's definitely a change of pace if you've used GPT and Claude before. So, I mean, I found that it's not really afraid to tackle any topic, whether it's controversial or not. And what's really cool is that Grok 2 now comes with image generation capabilities, and it's uh, actually powered by Flux AI model. And for those of you that are running your businesses, there's an enterprise API coming soon with some serious security features. And me personally, I'm a big fan of Elon Musk and really anything that he does. So I I really just wanted to try using this within N8N and become more of an avid user of it because I know in the future, Grok 3, when it comes out pretty soon, it's going to be uh, pretty game changing. But real quick, before we get into the video, I wanted to mention that if you're a business owner looking to implement AI agents and other custom AI solutions into your company to increase your bottom line, and check out the link below to apply to work with us. And if you're looking to learn and do everything yourself, we have three more spots to work directly one-on-one -on -one with me. So whether you want to start your own AI automation agency and land clients or automate your business yourself, I'll help you achieve your goals. You'll also get full access to my resources, templates, and in-depth tutorials. Now, I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of kind of what the system actually looks like when you're using Grok because, you know, me in particular, I haven't used Grok really at all besides playing around with it on Twitter or X. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it may look like when you use it. So I'm going to say, well, in the past, I said, can you create a TikTok video for me? And here's what I came up with. So we have the concept selection, the pre-production. So it's doing just about everything that I need. Nothing too crazy here. Relatively nice looking output. So now I'm just going to ask it something different and we'll try to get a little bit more controversial with it. So I'm going to say, what is your thoughts on climate change? Yeah, we'll kind of leave it at that and just see what it comes up with. Give you an example of what the output can look like. Okay, so just responded and here's what it said. So it took maybe five seconds for it to respond. So climate change is a multifaceted issue with significant scientific uh, consensuses highlighting several key points. So there is overwhelming scientific evidence that climate change is occurring and that human activities, particularly the emission of greenhouse gases like CO2, CH4, and nitrous oxide are primary cause, blah, blah, blah. So providing some observable effects. So this is more or less responding to how we would expect GPT and Claude to respond. But, you know, let's get into the actual building part of this video and show you how you can get this into N8N because if you couldn't tell already, it's not a native integration. So first thing you want to do is you're just going to come into x.ai. That's literally everything it is in the browser. So I'm just going to type that in. And what we'll do now is we'll just go up to the top at Grok. I'm sorry, we'll actually go to API and we'll go to start building now. Once it takes you to this, you'll actually first have to create an account. So sign up for account. It's completely free. But if you do want to use the API in N8N, then you're going to have to add some money into your account, as you might expect. But yeah, I just added $5, but feel free to add as much as you would like. But first thing you'll have to do is you'll just come to API keys. So create your API key. You'll get it right there. Copy it over. And we're going to be using an AI agent in here. So what we'll first do is I'll just kind of delete this we're going to add a tools. So there's a few different ways that you can interact with it. And if you watch my last video on DeepSeek, it's very similar to this. So we're actually going to be using OpenAI as the kind of node to connect Grok. So we're just going to be using the SDK and since they don't have their own integration in here. So we'll go to OpenAI and I already have one as you can see, but I guess we could create another new credential. So I'm going to input my API key. So I'm just going to create a brand new one. I'll call it N8N. I'm going to copy this and I'll just save it and we'll back out. So it's going to say that I couldn't connect and that's totally fine. Next, what you'll do is you're going to add a base URL. So the base URL, we're going to delete open eyes and we're going to have to go to the documentation. So if I go to my settings, I will find docs right here. And once we're in here, now we'll just want to scroll down a little bit and we'll find API keys. So this will take you to the rest API. If you scroll up to the top, you'll see the base URL. So it says the base for all routes is at HTTPS API.x.ai. And you will have to grab this backslash V1 as well. So I'm just going to copy that and also copy this right here. And we're going to change the model to to Grok hyphen beta. So in the future, once they do release the Grok 3 and everything like that, you'll just have to change this to Grok 2, Grok 3, Grok 4, whatever. So we'll just do beta for the time being. And now let's try testing this out. So I'm gonna open up the chat and I'll say, can you create a script on TikTok? for me. Also, what's your thoughts on TikTok being banned in the United States in January? So I'll ask it a couple different questions and we'll see what it comes back with. 
Okay, so it says, sure, I can help you craft a simple script for a TikTok video. Before we could, before we proceed, could you please specify what is the goal of your TikTok video? So here in this case, you'll probably want to provide a memory so that I actually communicate with it more often and, you know, respond to this output and have it come up with uh, something building on top of this. But you kind of get the idea. And then it's just kind of going over the band and everything. But I'll allow you to read that for yourself if you care at all about the output. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a super quick way that you can implement Grok into N8N because if you're a fan of Elon Musk like I am, then you'll probably want to be testing it out a little bit further. And for me personally, I'm pretty excited about Grok 3. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.